guys? Uh, welcome back. It has been about four months now since I did my initial review on the Phoenix Automotive head unit for the 5th Gen 4Runner. And I wanted to give you guys an update. I think my last review was after about two weeks and I was super impressed. I think I said um, I was trying to find things wrong with it. Well, um, it's been a little bit more time. I've definitely found some, some things wrong with it. Let's uh, dive into the head unit and let you know what uh, what's still good versus what is bad now. All right, so I'm gonna keep this kind of quick because there's really not too much um, to go over compared to my initial video um, I did make um, for this head unit. So when I first start up the truck, it still kind of goes to, to random pages. It usually goes to this one, which I don't really mind it. I just press home. Um, I connect to, which my favorite part is obviously the CarPlay. We'll connect to that. Verification approved. And we are CarPlay. We are in it. Um, yeah, so that this is, let me just tell you right off the bat, this is exactly why it's still in the truck. Um, it has not stopped performing the way that it has since the beginning um, the car play is still super super fast and i have no issues with with that part of the head unit like i said out, out of all the units that i've i've reviewed and i've i've had installed on the truck this one the car play is just amazing um it always connects almost annoyingly will not disconnect you know because when you have car play and if you want to um if you have CarPlay and you want to FaceTime somebody, it won't let you. It just shows like a, a screen. It won't actually connect to the camera. So there's times I want to disconnect and I swear it just reconnects, reconnects. And once, once it's connected, it just wants to stay connected. So if that's what I'm complaining about, then it's really not that bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind it. Obviously I still love the look. It's the best look out of all of them. Super cool with the big screen. As far as all the other features uh, going into, I was just watching HBO the other day. Uh, you have to be connected to Wi-Fi. I'm not connected at the moment. Uh, remember, you can put an SD card with its own data in here. It's got it all in the back. Uh, fitment is still great. Haven't had any issues with the fitment. Uh, nothing's popped out. Um, I've off-roaded it and uh, it still stayed really, really solid. So let me get into, now with all the good stuff, because um, I've gone through the features and stuff on the previous video, so I'm not gonna do that again. Let's get to what I have found wrong with it. And it's only thing I found wrong with it that's re relating actually to the car play. It's very odd. Um, I've talked to Phoenix Automotive about it and they sent me um, some codes to put in uh, to fix the issue. So if you guys have are having this issue, uh, feel free to DM me and um, I can dig up that code for you and tell you what I did. So when I'm driving long distances, um, I'll be driving and I'll start noticing the color on here is like fading. It's not dark green or anything like that. Um, it starts turning almost like a white. Uh, if I've got the directions in and the blue line is showing where I'm going, it's almost turning white like it's fading out Like the colors are bleeding the screen gets a little Foggy and I'm like what the hell is going on to fix it. I literally go back to the home and Then go back. I just reset the screen. It goes back to normal <laughs> That's that's the issue. Um, I talked to Phoenix. They said that it has like a smoldering issue, something like that. I, I would have to go into their message and see more detail. But the long story short is that it's it, it has an issue where that happens, but it's easily fixable. My first problem I had with this was during SEMA. When I was driving to SEMA, actually, I was driving and I go to click the volume button or something and this beeps i'm like what the hell that's never beeped before and i click over here that beeps I'm like okay and then all of a sudden the volume stopped working on one side and started working on the other side and it was just like it was like it was glitching so i put the little pin in i reset it it was still glitching 
then the volume it just started getting worse and worse throughout the next few days um and obviously it was it was to the point where i was like okay either they're gonna fix this or i'm gonna have to return it uh, because it's not gonna work for me and i got a hold of them um they couldn't really tell me what was wrong with it but they did want me to update it so of course they gave me this code i went into went into the head unit put in this code and it like updated it and brought it to a new their their like latest um their latest version of it or whatever and i haven't had any issues since it literally fixed it i think the only thing that's still wrong with it is the volume what was it it was uh oh the volume down on the uh, on the steering wheel it'll go up it just won't go down so that was the one thing i lost with that issue other than that that's it that was that was the big like oh shit moment like okay this thing's not gonna be in my truck anymore to they fixed it and it's been better and like i said the only other issue i've had is the uh the color fading on the car play after long trips so other than that everything else works it works great um i have had a couple let's see now that i think of it there has been one a couple other things um is i was watching hbo max the other night while i was driving and it kept uh like after a long period it just it kept turning off kept turning off and i'd have to like re reset it go in push play again watch it for a minute turn off i go in do it again and it did that about three or four times and i was about to like give up and i tried it again and then it worked fine so little weird odd glitchy things that don't happen all the time but uh again it it's not anything for me to to take it out of the truck or um uh, you know it's, it's just really not that big of a deal to me if it continues to happen and it's like over the top that's one thing but like i said they've they've they fixed it a couple times with those codes and um it's been it's been great ever since so anyway um i'm, at, I'm rambling at this point i think the only other thing i've got against this head unit is uh customer service isn't always the best it's kind of hard to get a hold of somebody um, it's a lot of emailing back and forth stuff like that if they had more of a hands-on um, person or line to call and they go okay here let's troubleshoot this let's troubleshoot that that's one thing but you know they don't and that's kind of the, the annoying part but uh, the couple times I have gotten a hold of them they have fixed my problem so I'll give them I'll give them that um, other than that no issues carplay is still fucking solid and is the biggest reason the most thing i use in this in this truck obviously every single time i step into it so as long as that's working i'm good that's uh okay one last thing the buttons the buttons can be annoying they're still a little annoying they're a little janky like i try to kind of stick sometimes i push the ac see how it kind of sticks you have to like push it on the outside here don't push it over here push it on the outside but sometimes it won't even I don't, I don't use them anyway but last complaint is uh down here it is really hard to get a usb plugged into the ports that are given uh, it's impossible to get anything into your cigarette lighter so don't even i don't know why they have that as like it's still being there because you can't get anything in there another one i had someone ask about having a water cup or something here um and yeah it, depending on the size of the water bottle let's see i actually have mine right here size it so my water bottle is not that big so it doesn't touch now if i get like a, a large soda from wherever um it will hit here i don't recommend putting it there I'm up, obviously putting it over here but uh you know depending on your water bottle size it it doesn't hit it's fine just the USB port part sucks. So I don't unplug that because it's a bitch to get it back in there. So hopefully that answers your question as far as comfortability with the head unit. All right, so there you have it. I hope uh, 
I didn't ramble too much and uh, you got a better idea of what life has been like with it for the last four months for me not a lot of issues um, like I said a couple of the big ones they they were fixed uh, and the, the little issues it does have like the color bleeding I mean it fixes it with a push of a button just kind of resetting it uh, if it gets any worse yeah I'm gonna have a problem but as far as pros and cons right now the pros are still higher and that that fucking car play man <laughs> that car play is is super solid and I don't have you know, as long as I can get in my truck and I can listen to my music, that's 99.9% .9 of the shit that I do is I come in here, I listen to my music, I go where I gotta go. I'm not always watching HBO or going on Google or going on Instagram on this thing. You know, it's it's half the time it's CarPlay and I think that's what we want out of our head units is like the CarPlay to work, you know, number one. Um, other than that, there's still a lot of customary, customary stuff you can do on here. And like you saw, I got my truck and my logo in the background. It can be a little, hard to figure out how to do that i gotta make a little video showing um how i did it and uh and if i do i'll leave a link in the description of this one so um other than that guys uh keep an eye on the channel i'm gonna get back out there and start doing some more review stuff and uh kind of wake it back up anyway guys thank you for checking it out i'll catch you next time peace